Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, Strong Tower, Akoka, proudly presents Handling Conflict in a Relationship. What relationship do you value the most? How have you been able to handle conflict that arises in your relationship? How do you relate with your kids, spouse, and loved ones? Now, all these questions and more will be answered in our wonderfully packaged interactive series. Please join our own Josephine Olaleye as she sheds more light on the topic Handling Conflicts in a Relationship. For more information and contribution, visit our website www.rccgstrongtowerng.org or like us on Facebook www.facebook.com forward slash rccgstrongtower You can also follow our Twitter handle at strongtowerrccg Remain blessed. Um, and welcome to family service where we're talking about issues, practical issues facing families every day. The family is up against so many gods today, but we believe that God had better plans than we were having now. And the only way is to recourse to his principles by which we can overcome the odds. Today we're going to be talking about pursuing peace in our homes and in our relationships in general. Conflicts are part of life because we're different people. But God already made plans on how to resolve conflict so that it don't end up in outbreaks, in homebreaking, in sorrows. We're going to be exploring principles that God has laid down and that we're very sure that if you choose to follow and make use of you have the best from your relationships. One has healing. There was a case last year where a husband killed his wife in Baghdad, very close to us here. They were always having issues. They reported to their pastor. Pastor could not do anything. They reported to their parents. Unfortunately, it ended in the death of the lady. The papers carried it. Then, I pray we won't ever get to that in the mighty name of Jesus. Broken homes, broken hearts, broken dreams are not what Christians should experience. And because of that, we're going to be looking at, like I said, General, we're looking at handling conflict, pursuing peace in general. When we now have real life situations, I want to use situations that we know. I have a lot of situations here, but I want to use the words that we know. That is why I'm giving us this um, assignment that we should write questions. How will we um, do this or that? So some factors that we need to consider in resolving conflict as soon as they're starting. I want us to see Psalm 37 verse 4 to 7. Psalm 37 verse 4 to 7 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light, and your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for Him. But the husband, in one year, doesn't step in church only on December 31st. Do we have such life scenarios? That, those are the things we're experiencing. Even for those of us that are on campus, don't I share my own experience? You want to follow the path of God, but the people living with you, or you're in a business, you want to follow the path of God, your business partner doesn't want to. There obviously will be conflict. Why? Because our make, our makeup as human beings are different. My makeup is different from my husband's own. My thinking is kind of different from his own. But because we now have a common ground, our faith in God, our values are merging. Our values are merging, and so we're having less of conflict in our lives. Praise the Lord. Why as a person, as a wife, as a, as a, as a husband, as a child, as a 
parents. All these are like pre pre um, pre pursuing of peace. These are works that you have done in your own mind before going out to meet the person. Okay. I'm sure you've had a wonderful time. And you've learned some new things on how to keep your relationship despite conflicts that come daily. You have to pursue peace. God expects you to be the peacemaker. He expects you to go the extra mile to ensure that your relationships are in order. The truth is, relationships don't work by themselves. Just like you said to me. I know and I'm very sure that as you follow the principles you've learned in today's service, you're going to have testimonies, even with the most difficult relationship. God.